everybody, it's Robin and I'm going to do a detailed tutorial on Evil Client. And so before she gets here, I just want to show you how I set up my area. I get the tiles ready for clients that are going to have a lot of nail art. And sometimes I can make 10 of these in like a few days. But once you put the lid on, they stay nicely. And I spray them over the top like this before I put the lid on and then I wait for my clients to get here. That way it, I have things done in advance and it saves time. I have white, black, a pearl white, my laundry machine going. I have a blue and a purple and a green. Then I have the yellow in the center and then I have um, a red and an orange and then a, a, gold, a gold with red in it. So. When I'm working, I can work in blues, and I can work in reds, and I can work in black and whites all at the same time. And if I'm using a rainbow, I can use that. And this is like a typical setup for when I already kind of know what I'm going to do. So I am going to do something lovely today. So let's paint witches and silhouettes. Okay, so now I'm here and I'm with Evil Client and we are doing one hand in a tan and one hand in a blue. This one has, um, the northern lights in it it's called exquisite digits bigger on the inside so thank you for donating and um i am going to let me see i am going to add a little bit of this i got it from the dollar store and i got the other one from a lady named kathleen she donated a whole bunch of polishes and i'm using them and then if i like whenever i make out gift boxes i just add the ones i use that i'm not going to use again so i'm going in with um the the neon yellow over the the tan color and just making it a little bit more neon this is going to be silhouettes so you're going to want to have some kind of ombre that goes from light from dark to light and you want the 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 colors to kind of match together and so i'm doing that to just kind of tilt the color from a dark vintage color to a neon weird kind of color so there is that now i'm going to go into my gallery and find the color spectrum okay so now i'm going to take um like a neon okay i frank and polished this but if you see it, it's like a neon um, orangey red. And I used a whole bunch of clear polish and then I added just some neon to it so that you just have a jelly. I think I showed you how to do it and how to make a jelly polish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of jelly through there to just give it a little wash of pink. That kind of um, makes them look pretty. So, like that. Now I'm gonna take the white and my brush. The brush is called the wand. The wand you can get at robinmosesnailart.com and it's what I do my line work with, all the lines I create. So with that, I'm gonna go into my white and I have my water out and um, I made a new palette because it slid while I was doing um, Evil Client and I didn't want to confuse you guys. So it looks a little different. It's the same colors, I just added a brown to it. So um, I'm going in with white and it's gonna be so, so thin and that's too thick. So just keep adding water like that. Yes, and frame, what the? Okay, now, with this color, I'm gonna just do some clouds through it. When they dry, they'll dry with a little tiny line around them. So they'll look real cloudy. And I'm sure, you know, you've seen a hundred tutorials where I learned to taught you how to do clouds, but you just push in circles. And then just let it th th them go where they may. My brush is a little bit dirty. There might be a little polish on it, so it's a little bit spiky. Oh, making it. So are you excited? Evil Client? For what? For your design. Oh, of course. I'm always excited. <laughs> she doesn't even know what she's getting. <laughs> I 
I just go with the flu? She knows how she's getting something. I'm doing silhouettes. Just so you know. And I'm going to try to get as many different little silhouettes as possible. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to do that. Now on the other hand. Did you want to do this? No, I'll do it later. Um, on the other hand, I want to take like that same kind of brown color. So on my palette, I have this, this, but you would make your, your moon out of this gold and this yellow, this neon yellow, because that's kind of like the color of the background. And then the neon yellow that I just added, it makes the same kind of polish color. Can you give me that other nail in front of you? Pull it through. Okay, see, that color and this color are matchy. Okay, so that when I put it down on here and make it big, it'll match the other hand and then they're gonna start to like taste each other's flavor. Yeah. Does that make sense, Evil Client? Makes sense to me. Okay, but... great. Then it makes sense to the most. So here we go. Because you, you know. Well, maybe not new people. Uh, I don't know. I don't either. I would I... think it would make sense. To yeah. Me. So you want it to match. So if this it is doesn't make sense. Yeah, then leave a comment. Leave a comment and also you probably will by the time you get to the end and then from now on you'll know all the it'll make sense on all the videos. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is going to be for the um the end of the video cuz I'm going to do like a more detailed uh design on this one. But then you want this. Now you can keep, you can just do a simple silhouette on this one if, you know, like a, um, like a little witch or a cat or something. And I have tons of videos like that in my Halloween playlist and in my beginner playlist. Okay, but on this other one, we are gonna take the blues and we're gonna add a little bit of white to the blue I have already taken out. Spray my paints. The last time, when I was doing the Dead Roses Evil Client, I, I sprayed our paints probably a hundred times during the video. It was so funny. It was so hot in here. So I'm doing the blue and white here. And I am going to add water. Blue, add water. I'm totally scrubbing my brush. Shame on me. Okay. If you paint with your brush, it lasts for years. If you scrub with your brush, it lasts for months. There. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned not to scrub with my brush, but you know, if you're scrubbing with your brush, it's running out way fast. So don't do that. Don't do what I just did. And I'm pushing into the blues and just lightening them up, keeping that one dark and then just making the, the colors turn from dark blue to light blue. And then adding a little bit more white because what I want is um, them to be lighter in the middle so that you can see the silhouettes. So it's all going to come together into this like night to light to dark way. Oh, that'll be lovely. Okay. So, you, I, I want to put a little bit of lighter in the center here because I want my art to show. Add water. Water, 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 water. Okay. Then, when that dries, I would go in with the neon yellow again right right here and just put a little tiny film of neon yellow across just like a little dots here and there that gives the illusion that moonlight is shining down onto the cloud area here's here's the neon yellow just touching on here and just making the neon color I'm just adding little tiny bits. And yet it does turn green, but it doesn't look green-ish. When you put it next to the moon, it looks like it's shining onto the nail, dig? So like, it's like, boom, right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just said dig. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying, Pat? 
<laughs> you dig? Wait, wait. You dig what I'm saying, bub? <laughs> I'm sorry. I turned into Jack Kerouac right quick. Okay, I'm going to finish this out. <laughs> and I'll meet you back, cat. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the... I put a quick coat of, a coat of Northern Lights on here. And now I'm ready to do the silhouettes. So my silhouettes are going to be just a ton of different little things. Like, okay, so here we go. The center nail, the middle nail, is going to be the tree. So I'm going to start the tree like this. Like it's going out of the ground. And then I want the branch. And this is going to have to be very thin paint. And you have to watch the end of your brush and make sure. But the, the, the center branch going to be like this. You want me to hit that picture so you can see it better? No. Your eyes be better than mine. Painting all this little stuff and looking at little stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be cool though. Come on, you know it. Yeah, it is. So, do you see like how it's making a, a skull, you guys? So this is uh, from a picture that I'm looking at that is um, for a Halloween movie. And it's just called Halloween Tales, I think. Tales of Halloween. Tales of Halloween. And um, it's not exact, but it's good. I mean, it's gonna be cool. So I'm going to just keep on building this skull to where you kind of see it and then you kind of like see the tree and it's the way you're looking at it Then it will come out. <laughs> awesome. The only thing that I can teach here is that you have to have patience and you have to have very thin paint. So there is the tree. Below the tree, I am going to have like a little couple of crosses as if this is on some kind of This is, of course, I'm going to go over the bottom of these tips with polish. But that would be the first silhouette. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do a cat. <laughs> now let me pull up some, some some silhouettes that aren't terrifying, terrifyingly hard. So here we go. We're gonna do a kitty sitting here by the by the tree. Okay, that's how you start it. Then you jump up, pull up. I have a million how to do a cat tutorial. Um, let's try to do one a little different. I want this to be a little bit more. It's going to just be sitting there. And 
we'll put the can't see there with red eyes. Oh, we'll put some red eyes on it. You're right. <laughs> okay. That would not make it a, like an official silhouette, but <laughs> a glowing silhouette. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to do some bats because bats go around trees. So Just little, just little triangles. Perfect. Like that. And <laughs> let's do something fun. Let's 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 um challenge. Let me challenge myself, shall we? Down. Down. And this is just a self challenge. You don't have to do do this yourself. You know what I mean? Across. Across, down, down, over. You did in that building? Or the, yeah. The scary mansion? I'm going to do a scary mansion. And then fill, fill, and like that. Last time, uh, somebody commented that they could hear a whole bunch of traffic outside of our house, and uh, and I and I listened, and they're right. It's so busy, but it was summer, and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to. I, so I'll take the time now to say, in the summer, my town is extremely busy, and in the winter, it's extremely dead. <laughs> You'll just hear traffic or rain, nothing in between. And crows. Always. Always crows. There's always a murder of crows outside of my house. <laughs> That's cool. And... Boop. I guess somebody saw the cougar again. Oh, I haven't seen them. I just saw the bear. Oh, we have lots of bears. Yeah, I just I saw one in my yard. But I think the cougar that comes into town is like just the one. <laughs> the cougar. The cougar. The one that was in my backyard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one time. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm glad it's not near me. Well, it is near me. And it actually has probably traveled by you a lot. Aww. Carl, do you know the cougar? Carl knows it. Oh my god, I love it! So there's that. And... Okay. And we will do... Okay, here we go. The witches. So... We'll do... One... Now these are just translating as witches because they are so tiny that um, that's all you can do is just kind of translate them, which is great. You just want them to be like the insinuation that they're witches. That way it gives them a, a hand-painted flavor. So there's one. I did this for um, the Wizard of Oz nails and um, I loved the way they translated. I think. I don't know if I did monkey, oh, I don't remember what, but I did a bunch of them like this, just little whisper, whisper paints, and it really was effective. I loved it. Translated perfectly. Get that hair flying. Get that cape flying. Cape. Hair. See? Now it looks like witches, but I didn't do every detail. That's what is perfect about nail art. And I can do like another like broom coming out here and the, the, the hair and the flying and then it just looks like a coven is flying through the air 
and I will meet you with the other side. Now technically, um, you can stop here and just put, put bats and a cat or, a, or another witch on this moon. But I'm going to do a more detailed one. So this is going to be a longer tutorial, but it's just for people who really like to watch my channel and really dig Halloween. And so I hope you guys follow along. It's, um, it's, it's really what you can mix and match together to make your Halloween like really cool. So I'm going to make a witch sitting here. Um, she is really cute. She is taken from a photograph and um, it looks like a coop girl. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but if you look up coop art, you'll see a whole bunch of pinups and this is one of them. And so um, I'm not copying it exactly, but I like the way that it is. So it's going here. So I'm going around and putting her head like this. So she's kind of big. And then And you say, Robin, did, you're covering everything you just painted. And that's and that's just very thin coats of, of paint and polish and nail art. So yeah, I do. I cover, I cover up some sometimes, but sometimes you have to in order to make a better design. So um, this. And I'm going to have her come off the nail like this for the rest. Now you can, you can search my uh, Halloween playlist or my channel. Just hit the search button and look for witches. And I have a million tutorials on witches. So if you're having a problem, just go and check out other witch tutorials. So you can do a version that is like for beginners or for medium you know, medium artists are advanced. It doesn't matter. But practice will make it perfect. So there is her hand. There's nothing there's nothing that I can really do except for tell you to practice here and to make sure your paint is very thin. So and don't expect products to help you here. Like like it's just practice. Um, I'm going in with a skin tone. You can make whatever skin tone you want. You can make her green, like a green witch. You can make her all different kinds. I'm gonna make her like, um, just basic, you know, I don't know yet. I just, I just follow it, like whatever it takes me to. This, this witch looks like someone I know, which is fortunate because it makes it easier for me to paint. fill in with a dark, darker tone, like the, the shade tone. And then I'm going to go around the moon area with a neon yellow. So that shows up. You don't want to lose the moon completely. You want it to go behind and illuminate our witch. And then I have this orange and I'm going to take the orange brown like that. Okay, now with the highlights, I'll put the face in. It looks like a witch Mona Lisa right now, doesn't it? Kinda. I'm looking at it upside down, so it's hard for me to oh, tell. <laughs> it does. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give your witch cleavage. 
Well, she might have, as well have some too. Yeah. Mona Lisa. Okay, and her hand. So her hand is wrapped around the broomstick. So it's going one, two, three, four, thumb, dot, 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 dot. Hand, 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 dot, 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 Okay. Now I'm going to put her eyes in. I want her eyes to be large so that she looks cool and pretty. Lots of makeup. I would like to take my penny at this time to show you guys that her head is way smaller than Abe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, if if you feel like, oh my gosh, this is too hard, you, you know, it takes a while to get here. So don't beat yourself up. I mean, I've done this for many, many years, all over the place, on all different types types of women. Someday I should tell my stories, hung huh, evil client. Yeah. That would be something. If you guys want to hear my stories, tell me. Everybody seems like they have so many stories that it gets overwhelming for, you know. I, I start to tell it and I'm like, nah. I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. That's exactly what I think. So if you guys do, tell me. Okay. But I, I worked in some salons and and worked on some pretty interesting things over the years. The people you meet when you do this. Oh, hey, that is darling. Her hair's ombre. Mm -hmm. Her hair's ombre. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I love her! And then, I'm gonna give her her wand. You guys all buy nail art brushes. Buy the wand. <laughs> this is my nail art brush right here. I'm going to tell you this, it's hard to paint this without the wand. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've tried. <laughs> okay, here you go. And get that. Get that. Get. Got it. I think I, I might. I heard that. I think I might have a little tiny bit of gold in here too, so it just shows up a little because this is crazy. This is crazy tiny. Sorry. I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah, just go ahead and take care of that while I'm in the middle of painting a microscopic witch. Oh, they can't see my hand. <laughs> they can't You're, not see my You're not messing with my... With my uh... They can't see my wrist. You're not ruining my groove. <laughs> bub. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ruining my groove at all, Bub. I got this. Okay. Oh my gosh, I so want to highlight that. Boom. I want to... What uh, the decolletage? De Move. My my paints are drying up because uh, yeah, wasting too much time. And you away. have a little bit of wind. Breeze going. Yeah, through. a little bit of wind is the difference between having nice paint and having to keep on adding water too. It's so weird. Okay, so there is the cutest little witch ever. I kind of want her paint. I want to kind of top coat her on film so that you can see her come to life. Because, yeah, that's going to be awesome. She is cute. And she is. Wait till you see her on face up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you see how I'm just letting the paint go over the, the nail? That seals it. And so the next time I uh, do my next top coat, it won't even smudge at all. So there she is. On the rest of them, I'm just going to paint bats. Because bats accentuate 
and um, make it fun without being real hard and that's where you save your time so you could just do all blue nails and paint bats on all of them and then do the witch on one nail and show me hashtag me inspired by Robin Moses and spell it correctly so I can see it I love Halloween nails and I love when you paint them inspired by me so I can see them because I work so hard on getting these tutorials to the world and to the girls who need it most so you guys have to show me get precious and show me let's do this okay um, little bat, and all you do is a is a is a V, and then make little insinuations of bats. And if it's not perfect the first time, it's okay. They fly every which way. In Vegas, they dive bomb you. So like, you don't even really know it's a bat. It's just a flop of black. And you can just do. A little like that and that's another bat you don't have to have them perfect it's an insinuation so I'll finish that out in top coat okay so now here is the the design and I'm gonna zoom out and you can see how it glows in the dark this will be how it looks like in the dark time <laughs> and um, let me see the thumbs Okay, and there are the thumbs. Now that is why I like to put the glow in different areas so that when it glows, it's so interesting the way that it catches. And um, it makes it unique to you and your art. And, and each design will look different. Now let me turn on the regular lights and show you these nails up close. Now, that is with the regular light. Now, let me zoom up, I mean turn on, zoom in. And I'm going to give the you make me camera, see. yeah, because I want you to see, and then I want you to put them in. But hopefully you guys will see the skull, and um, and then the witch, and this is this is a, a advanced uh, to, you know, medium to advanced nail art, so like, if you try it, please show me and hashtag me with the right word right here, inspired by Robin Moses. And um, I did everything with the wand, <laughs> my magic wand. And you get those at robinmosesnailart.com. See it? No, you can't see it because it's there. We both my nails and your thing. Oh, heck all, so. yeah. That's awesome and professional. <laughs> and I have the unicorn, of course. This is the lion, this is the, um, the, the, the striper. But the wand is what I used for this video. And um, I made them for all my videos. So that supports my channel because YouTube really did, you know, it takes away everything and makes makes it to where only the big channels can share and be seen. So I need your guys' help. That's how we get our group together. And so I just have faith that we watch each other. I have plenty of people watching me and having fun. And so just spread the word with other kind people. That's all I need. Other than that, we had fun making this witch and the bats. And if you want to see something special, please leave it in the comment section below. This tutorial is going to be extremely long, but heck of fun. I love it. Um, and I'm, I'm interested to see you guys' um, all of your requests. So you want to show them your little rings? We put rings on for today. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> They're so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love them. So anyways, thanks you guys. I'll see you back with more. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. And because I am ta I am filming right now, I just want to say very quickly that um, that this tutorial is in the playlist for doing witches, and I didn't put it on film because this is such a long tutorial anyway, and I've done it, and um, I really wanted to get the background and other things for this tutorial before anything else. So just go there; it'll be linked at the end of this video, right right around now. Bye, guys.